Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Manor Lords. This is the game that we're looking at today. I've got my hands on the early access build a little bit early, maybe a week or two in advance. If you're surprised to see this popping up now, so am I. Uh, this key kind of just snuck up on me. It's like midnight or 1am on a Friday right now, but hey, this is when I received it and so we shall go on. I've been given the green light to check it out and play it as much as I want. Um, I suppose as long as I don't review it, but this isn't a review, this is potentially a playthrough or at the very least just a, a video having a look at it. So if you're not across it, Manor Lords is probably one of the most anticipated upcoming sort of colony builders medieval sort of thing. It's trying to do a lot of stuff. It's coming out of Hooded Horse, one of my favorite publishers at the moment. And um, yeah, I actually haven't looked at it very much because I knew I was going to cover it when it when it finally came across my desk. So let's pull the trigger. Fritz? Big Fritz, eh? Oh, look at this head. Look at this head! That's, that's a non-decision. I mean, oh my god, hang on. Dangerous. This one. That's just, that's just how it's got to be. Coat of arms. The scarlet igloo. That sounds pretty good to me. I mean, I like squares. I like squarey things. Oh, this soundtrack is wonderful. Bloody Henry's come to see us, that sort of thing. No, yeah, give me the Scarlet Igloo. That sounds great. All right, done. And uh, what's all this crap? Early access map. Yeah, okay. Default. Def oh, rise to prosperity. Restoring the peace on the edge. So I've got some different scenarios. Uh, reach large town settlement. After that, you may choose to continue in endless mode. Victory condition. Conquer every... Well, this was the default, right? So maybe we go with that. Template difficulty. Yeah, okay. End goal. Domination. I don't know about that. I like the idea of growth. Fulfill the requirements of your city or citizens. Plan and rule your medieval town as you see fit without worrying about combat. Ah, no, no. That's, that's baby mode. And then... Okay, this must be hard. More coming soon. Okay, cool. Restoring the peace. This seems to be standard. We've got a bunch of mutators, which I'm really not interested in. I like playing normal games because I aspire to be a normal person. Well, that's pretty. I like that. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's all what it's cracked up to be. I'm pretty sure I looked at an ultra early sort of demo press build back in the day. And uh, I think something about the road pathing was quite interesting of course let me know if you like this because i'm willing to you know let's do 100 episodes if people like it sure if i like it as well new message victory condition dominance build up your town your manor and when ready press claims towards regions owned by opponents it's very crusader kings once a claim has been pressed be ready for battle i'll unite these lands under my rule Claim all opponents' regions. If I press map, do I get... Oh. Eichenhau. Ah, oh, very good. That's me over here. Maybe. Maybe that's all me. Eichen... Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. I thought the rivers were delineating. Clay deposit, berry deposit, growing. Iron, animals, stone. Cool. In Manor Lords, families need food and fuel and roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel above show how many you've got left. Right. Number of months before supplies run out. Alright. Okay, got it. I understand. Thank you. So this is my little town, is it? Homeless people's tents. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, wow, you can mouse all the way out. That's really cool. That was so smooth as well. This view shows you which regions are under your control. You can press claims when you have enough influence. Yeah, I don't know if we want to worry about that too much. Diplomacy, these are the other big dogs. Hildebolt Ven Benarute and Outlaws. Okay. Right, yep, yeah, we can see our deposits. All right, so this is my little, little land here. Okay, groovy. Well, maybe we roll with the homeless people. They might be onto something. Supplies. Hitching post. Order another ox. Ah, I got myself an ox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down, big dog. Wow, you can really get right in there, can't you? I like your hat, lady. I like, I like his hat, too. Homeless people's tents. All right, maybe we pause it for a sec. Get our bearings. 
Roads. You go, some workplaces allow villagers to use hand car. Oh God, this looks so good and it's so polished. Uh, to transport up to 10 goods at once. That's very, um, I know, I know you're not allowed to say this, but that's very much like Settlers New Allies, which maybe I should revisit that on the channel. It had a Steam release the other day. However, pulling a handcart off-road is extremely slow to make sure to connect. Okay, cool. Well, that was the best part of the Settlers. So, oh, okay, they've got little, little things. So, homeless people's tents, storage, upgrade to a worker camp, supplies, storage, hitching posts, supplies. Okay, okay. Still a bit confused, but that's fine. Construction. Ooh. Every region in Manor Lords has a strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check out all resource deposits as well as investigate soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade. Uh, well, hang on. Overlay. Smell. Work in progress. Rye fertility. Oh, we got rye. M Emma. Underground water. Oh my goodness, this is complex. Okay, well, consider setting up trade, they say. Let's have a look from here. We got a little bit of Emma. Flax, not so much. Barley, not so much. Rye, mate, we're laughing as far as rye goes. All right, three little pluses. Ah, oh, okay. All right, logging camp. We should probably get one of the... All right, so we've got a road already. Ah, Gucci. So what if we... Yeah, let's put the logging camp like that. I like that. Unaside and families work on construction automatically. Oh my God, I'm in love with this game already. This is just clean, man. I get to look at my big head the whole time. Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. Got it. All right, does the ox need to be connected to the road? So if I do something like that, it's not very clean, I know, but what about, oh, there you go. That's a bit, bit better. All right, done. Groovy, I like that. Uh, what do we got here? Woodcutter's Lodge, hang on. Workers fell nearby trees. Workers fell nearby trees to produce firewood. Well, that sounds like that might be important as well. What's with the bloody arrow? What's this giant friggin' arrow? Oh, the front. I bet you that's what it is. It's showing us the front. All right, well, let's, let's do that. Let's get to work, boys. Saw pit. Workers transform timber into planks. All right, well, let's get this whole bloody economy on the, sh on the road. How about uh, maybe we leave a little gap? just in case we need to get a road through there. And then what's this? Forest's hut. They plant new trees in specified zones. Yeah, that's probably a good idea to have one of them also. Well, that, that should get people going. Hunter's hut. You know, let's just leave that. And uh, how do I speed up? Tab is not it. Plus, plus and minus. All right. I hate it. I prefer that to be on the number keys, but we can work with this. All right. Here comes the ox. Wait, what the hell? Minus doesn't... Minus. Plus pluses. <laughs> okay. So plus... Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. We can... Bear with me, team. Controls. All right, numbers, control group, right. That's a tomorrow problem. We'll worry about that later. Let's, um, control C, cinematic mode, or we'll have to look at whatever that bloody is. Camera back, slower game. Oh, here you go, X and Z. Faster game, slow, oh, brilliant. Okay, that works, that works wonderfully. So let's see what the ox is up to. He's dragging. Oh, he's doing doughies. <laughs> All right, so he's, he's bringing logs over here. Logging camp under construction. Right, it needs two logs. 
And only the ox can bring him. And he's got some road. Cool. I like it. Saw pit under construction. Alright, so he's going to take a log up there as well. Alright, now what's going on here? Select this building has no assigned family. Select it and assign a family whenever you'd like to start production. Okay, well, we can do that. While human workforce has to be assigned by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. Yeah, we share the ox, the town's ox. Sure. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen if you have any construction going on. Yeah, okay. well, let's just... Let's just leave the town ox alone. That's kind of cool. It's a pretty high value bloody supercar. It's a Ferrari now. Um, assign family? Done. How many families do I have? Is that, a, is that a metric? Military? Influence? Uh, oh! Unassigned families. Um, okay, let's just stack up three. For now and see what they do Lorenz Jacob and Lindhart off they go oh timber what's this homeless these people wait for more burridge plots burridge plots Causes a loss of approval and possibly freezing in winters. Homeless cannot be part of militia. Hang on. Army. I really don't want to press that button. Map. We figured that out. Help. Settings. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Oh, there's different... There's different subsections. Ah. Uh, okay. Logistics. Granary. Storehouse. Pack station. Residential. This is what we want. Burridge plots. Provides living space for a single family or two families when expanded. Some buildings have flexible borders. Look at this. I think I remember this. Flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to the roads to try and create an organic shape. You can leave more space for future extension upgrades. The first two points mark the front of the house. All right, so that's going to take a little bit of getting used to, isn't it? Hmm. All right, what if we, uh... Maybe I should stick to... Oh, like there? Aha. We'll do something like that. Not enough goods. That's alright. I don't mind. Can I still queue it up? Construction costs eight logs, right? Yeah, but we're working on the log situation. Oh! So that did lock in when I clicked off. I, I pressed a number actually to deselect. Okay, cool. So they're chopping logs. This is wonderful. Okay, so what's what's going on here? Exposed goods, generic storage. Goods stored here are vulnerable to weather damage and need to be moved to a storehouse. Well, hang on. Let's have a look at logistics. Storehouse. There we go. We can do that. Saving finished. Good. I'm glad. Workers collect, store, and distribute goods using generic storage. If needed, they will also automatically set up stalls on the marketplace. They'll automatically set up stalls to distribute stored goods to the burridge plots. In most cases, resources in Manor Lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment. Yeah, yeah good. I love that sort of logistics. Okay, storehouse. Um, rotate. Oh, okay. Just worried that my mouse goes off the screen. Let's do that, and then...
Okay. What's the next warning? Exposed goods pantry. So they need to go into a granary. Sure. I might extend this... road out a bit. So this is sort of, it's like city skylines. This is kind of like a main road that I'm building off of. Um, granary. Workers collect, store, and distribute goods from the pantry. What pantry? Using the pantry. Okay. If needed, they'll automatically set up stalls. Okay. I like this automatically setting up bloody stalls business. That works for me. And then what's this last thing? Homelessness. We're also, we're working on that. These people are waiting. They're maybe going to freeze. Ah. Bugger them. Okay. Saw pit. No. Nope. Let's get some families going. No unassigned families to guide the ox. How about that? Order another ox. Okay. These families will focus on the job they're assigned to. Ah, which is to say maybe they'll do other jobs. Unassigned families needed for construction work. Aha, uh -huh, so you have to keep someone unassigned. Um, well, let's do that. Cool. So that unassigned one will manage the ox, manage construction. Cool. Um, forest is hot, so let's put a family there. New message. Go on, then. I've heard of your renown. The I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildebolt Ven Benarus. Right back. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, look at this head. I love it. Big rough one. All right. Dear Hildebolt Von B Benarut. B B Berenut. Drop your paragraph here. Negotiation. You have no rightful claim to sell bits and Nofenstein. Yep. Drop paragraph here. I'm trying. Is that it? Is that all I've got to say? War surprise. I don't have the information. Request funds. Yep. Oh, tell this dude to get stuffed. He seemed polite enough, but he can also, you know, go blow it out his ring. Okay. I think we're, we're doing all right. I'm looking forward to this. Because we're swimming in food. Oh, they're like little loaves of bread. Oh, okay. The logs go the other way. Food. Hang on, what do logs look like? Yeah, like that. Timber. Log storage. Do I not... Crafting materials? Oh, I don't know. Food. Construction. Ah, oh, there's sub-menus. I see. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got seven timber. Okay, that's fine. Woodcutter's Lodge. There's this one. There we go. Everyone shared a bit around. I think we're good now. So oh, what's this bloody warning? Generic storage is full. Excess storage may move to a storehouse. Well, hang on, we're still building the storehouse. Bloody pump your brakes there, game. One thing at a time, thank you. Look at it go. Oh, I love it. Construction finished storehouse. So, 
Will the loose family fill the gaps on that, especially if there's no building to be done? Family requests... Hang on, what is this? Family requests more market area for their stall. Woodcutter's Lodge. Market area? Maybe that's something down in here. Trade? Trading post? Industry? Doesn't look like this is it. Farming? Oh my god. This is involved. Well, marketplace. Provides space for the... What's this under? Residential. For the assigned families to set up their stalls and distribute their produce to the burrage plots. But burgage. Burgage. Like a burger. I get it. I've, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Um... A healthy supply of demand ratios is good to fulfill residential request. Okay, cool. So you want me to build this thing, bloody thing, do you? Plot points. So maybe we build it over here, near the burgages. Available market store like oh oh okay. A well-supplied market is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space on the market. Never over hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burgage plots closest to the market get their market requirement filled first. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah okay, sure, sure. It's uh, it's kind of like uh, the Pharaoh games. It, like in a in a abstract way, like that's very rigid squares, but the same thing sort of stands. You have a deliverer to the the residential district, so you're going to have kind of com commercial industrial production in one biome, and then you'll have homes, and then you have this sort of drop off point that is acts as a go between. That's what it looks like to me. What bloody happened then? What happened then? What am I... Did I do that? Bloody hell. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to look at this stall. The firewood stall. Wow, they're really going for it. Oh, he's a forester. Oh, oh, you know what? Did my thing get cancelled somehow? No, I've been sitting here waiting for it to get built this whole time. Burgage plot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. Scarlet, you know what you are? <laughs> You're an idiot. Let's get four in. Much better. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. The music is lovely in an understated kind of way. Living space. Homelessness. It says five. So I feel like... How would we go squeezing another... Plot too small? Can I, like, drag... Like this. Plot too small. Aha. Let's do that. Right, that'll that'll be five. That'll get our starting families squared away. It's heavier than it looks, he says. Mate, look at this. Getting all the firewood going. Hun Gunt. <laughs> she's a... She, I'll tell you what, she runs the household. You know it. She's a very serious woman. I'll I, I put money on it. Saving finished. 
All right, so we're dragging logs up to the burgage plots. I'm tempted to keep calling them burrage. <laughs> just, just to just to antagonize people. All right. Two out of two. Yeah, I like this little two log system. It's kind of cool. Right, so we've only really got one spare family. And they're kind of running the ox cart. So I feel like once once they've finished delivering all of that, they'll probably start building the burgage houses. I don't know. It's all a bit speculative. Need to be moved to a storehouse. Yeah, see, I don't... I don't have enough families. The granary as well. Again, maybe this loose unit family, the looses. Can you actually see the name of these families? Maybe they'll, uh, once the ox gets to calm down a bit, maybe they'll pick up. Oh, that's it. Someone's building this. Someone over there telling a bloody story. Is this smooth enough? Nice. Don't mind me, mate. I love love to watch you work. Oh, we got a fence. Can I stay where drink? Oh, mate, look at that. Uh, homeless will move to the plot if approval is high enough. It might attract families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check the residential requirements. Okay, we'll do that. This one. Requirements. Amenities. Market supply. Armaments. Water access. Well, maybe that's something we, we fix. Well. Requires underground water. Oh, it bloody, it does too, doesn't it? Is it worth running a road out there? I guess the ox can cross country. We'll just have the well out the back, you know? <laughs> Plus family members join one of your settlements. Yes. Oh, you know what? They're just homeless people at the moment. Wild animals have migrated. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, this is this game is dangerously cool. <laughs> I'm just having a big old rant about someone spitting in his face. Yeah. Two houses plus three on the way. Family members join the settlement. Yeah, yeah, so they formally join, I guess. I don't know what that strictly means, because, you know, the homeless dudes are still working for me. But I guess you got to start somewhere, you know? Oh, I like the rain. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, mate, I don't care. <laughs> Stop talking to me. <laughs> it just... I thought you were just going to say it's raining all the time, but you're going to tell me about how your head hurts. And No, no, that's fine. You can keep that to yourself, brother. What's going on here? Oh, this is cool. we got the water, like, pooling in the street. Doesn't it look lovely? Then we've got animals. Oh, look at the rain when you zoom out. Oh, wow. Seasonal. Right, so we could probably lean into all that. I haven't even really considered a food solution. Ugh. 
It seems we've got like starter bread. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, game. I've got my hands full. Number of months. Red. Red's not good. The hope is these errors will go away when the ox family starts picking up the slack. Okay, to get new development points, okay cool. To get more population, you need to have empty burgage plots and your approval needs to be over 50% and it's not. Homelessness. A new message. Armament delivery. Okay cool, look at this art, it's lovely. I'm, I'm so impressed with how polished this is. It sort of just came out of nowhere. Well, you know, it's obviously very anticipated. Everyone's excited. But for the build to just rock up early and them to go, hey, go for it, let them have it. And it's it's very solid. It's good. They, they obviously know what they're doing and they know what they're sitting on. Um, a strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. And you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from the land. Now look, before I kind of wrap up for the moment, I'm just going to strip out... I wonder if you can mass do it. And I want to see what happens. Family members joined up. Like, do they just fill job roles on their own, in a way? Log storage, nine. Looks like everyone's just staying home. Like, where are you going? You're going to the Ox. You're having a chat. Fetching water by the look of it. Stall abandoned. Yeah, so I don't know if it's going to work. I think you just need... Need a... Oh, look, maybe I can level up there as well. I, need, I think you need to commit. Commit to the bit. Which is interesting because, like, it's taking five families just for this... Essentially, the lumber industry. Where does feeding my people fit into it. Maybe I trade lumber and until I can get on top of that. I don't know. It's cool. It's cool not knowing and sort of just exploring it and figuring it out as we go. I am enjoying it because because where are we at anyway lumber wise? 10 timber, 45 planks. Yeah, so maybe I could do some trade. I don't know. Or maybe well, that's the other thing. The next step will be build more of these burgage plots and see how hard and fast people fill up the city. And hopefully that happens. All right, cool. Wonderful. What a wonderful start to my weekend. I was not expecting this, not for another week or two, um, but I'm impressed very much so far. Now, look, this could flop horribly. I kind of doubt it. If this video is well received, uh, let me know if you enjoyed this and we will you know, drop some more episodes and chip away at it and turn it into a bit of a series. Anyway, team, might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.